Hello, my dear Kids Max Kids. In this video, we are going to see about peace. What is peace actually? How will it work? How to reach the state of peaceful mind? What makes your environment peaceful? I would like to tell you one little story about the birthplace of peace. You can read this story in Kids Max magazine, page number 5. There once lived a king who announced to praise the artist who would paint the best painting depicting many great painters sent the king several of their best art pieces. One of the pictures among the trees was a calm lake. Snow-capped mountain overhead a blue clear sky with fluffy clouds. The picture was perfectly mirroring peace. Most of the people thought it was the best picture among all. When the king announced the winner, everyone was shocked because the picture which won the prize had an angry sky, disturbance in the environment, and storm. disturbance in the environment, and storm. The king described that seeing the picture closely will show a tiny bush growing in between the crocs in the rock. In the bush, a mother bird had built a nest and feeding her baby. Though the picture is not representing the peaceful environment, but showing the state of peaceful mind. So, the moral of the story. The real peace is the state of mind, not the state of the surroundings. Now, let me explain the wonderful words of Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam about peace. Where there is righteousness in the heart, there is beauty in the character. Where there is beauty in the character, there is harmony in the home. Where there is harmony in the home, there is order in the nation. Where there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. If you want to spread peace to the world, means you have to start from your mind. Righteousness is the secret of that. If you want to live in peace, mean you have to read page number 29, How to Live in Peace in Kids Max Magazine. There are six basic steps to reach oh your kids. Here are some good and bad habits to avoid violence and to spread peace. You can read this in page number 17. Here are the list to follow in your lifetime. Be generous. You can read the conversation being generous in page number 25. Share your position. Always motivate others. Help the needy person. Respect others. Read the motivational leader stories and biographies. Here are the bad manners you should avoid. Don't bullying others. Being selfish. Discouraging others. Neglecting the needy person. Disrespecting others. So my dear kids, spread peace all over the world. And thank you.